Today we're going to be installing a ZL1 conversion kit on a 6th generation Camaro SS. Alright guys, we're under the car now, we've got it jacked up, and I want to just touch base with you on the Camaros here. Camaros are a little bit finicky on being able to get these things jacked up and Terry went through and he figured out a way to do this. This is the first time that we've actually pulled and lifted the key, these Camaros up in the air and um, they have some specific jacking points but they don't work the same as the, the Corvettes do. So um, we're going to be looking into getting a regular real jacking puck for these. Um, but what I want you to do is make sure that you pay attention to your owner's manual, you refer to that, or a shop manual on how to jack your car up, whether it's on a lift or just using a regular jack. I don't want you to damage the frame or anything like that or put a jack through the floor or something, okay? But so I just wanted to make sure you, you were aware of that. So anyway, uh, what we've got to do here, the, this splitter is extremely uh, simple to install. It comes with the instructions which we're going to deviate a little bit from those instructions to make it a little bit easier on you. Um, but basically all we're going to be doing is pulling these 7 millimeter screws all the way across here. There's 12 of them. And then it comes with the two-sided uh, stick tape. Now I decided um, to use a little bit wider stick tape here, right there. Okay, a little bit wider stick tape. And we're going to use that and um, instead of the skinnier stuff that's supplied. I just want to make sure that we get a really good bond. So uh, Terry's going to grab his, his handy dandy drill here and go ahead and pull these screws out and then we'll be able to get it on. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there, there's a rivet right here on each side. Don't even have to bother with them. All you need to do is take all these seven millimeter screws out. Of these out on these cars there's an air dam right here this one here is tore up it's already been scraped down to nothing these usually hang down so far and they're like a little air dam we're going to take them off but you can if you want because this here interferes with the part that we're putting on you can trim this off and leave the air dam here if you'd like but us since they're already tore up we're just going to take them off yeah if you still have a working one you could cut it and Trim it up. But. Okay, there's one screw right here, this very last one. You need to put it back in. Because it holds up these two pieces together. Okay. So Terry's going to go ahead and he's going to wipe the bottom of the car off here where the adhesive is going to attach and, and help get all the extra debris that's off there. He's just wiping it off with alcohol. So as Terry's wiping that down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the, the two-sided stick tape loose here. If I can get it to start. There we go. We've got all one piece here on that. Alright. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this get it up here Not, so I'm gonna tip it like so you're gonna tip it well okay okay but you want to make sure that you get I your just, you hold it there I for a it. second I got it Should just be able to start putting all the screws right back in. I like starting in the middle and kind of working your way from one side to the other for the simple reason you'll kind of line things up a little bit better. These are actually simple. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, guys, this is one of the easier installs that we've done on this um, so far. Uh, <laughs> yeah.
got one more. And this part of the insulation's done. Now we go to the winglets. Okay. Okay, this has got little indentations on it. They're kind of like they line up because these one have uh, a male, you may say, and these are female. So if you just take this and line it up, and you can kind of get it. These here are a little bit of an angle. So instead of going like so, you want to go down. Then you just put all these in. This is actually about the easiest one that I or Scott has actually done. <laughs> yeah, this one's easier than the, the, than the, Camar on the Corvette, huh? I would snug these up. Don't really give them a really tight thing because you don't want to strip them out. Okay, we'll go on the other side and do the other one. Okay, now we're on the other side. We're gonna do just basically the same thing. You can kind of feel it where it gets set up there. And then you This is easy. Okay, there you go. And there you go, guys. That's the whole front front splitter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move back oh, onto the sides here. We've already got the we already got the side skirt already test fitted up here, um, and so we're gonna be taking this off and we're gonna be putting some uh, two sided stick tape um, here along this edge here. We're gonna be going right along this edge. Now the instructions say to put some along here and here and here, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that just to along all these tabs just to make it a little more secure even though we're we're drilling and riveting the the holes we want to make sure that we have the sticky tape that's going to bond it to the body so you're not going to get that extra flex okay so we're going to go ahead and put that on and then we'll be right back so what we did here the instructions just basically tell you to put a little bit of stick tape along the bottom here um, we're going to go ahead from experience. We know that there's flex in these, right? And um, so you want to make sure that you're going to stiffen this up a little bit. So um, we've gone ahead and we've put sticky tape on all the flat areas underneath, as well as what's going to go along the contour of the body line at the top. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pull that tape off. This is just going to ensure that your that your skirt is going to be very strong and it's not gonna be flopping around. And if for some reason that somebody is to get out of the car or go to get in the car and they put a little bit of weight on it, that it's not just gonna snap and break off, okay? So a little more sticky tape, but uh, well worth it in the long run. So um, this is actually the part that Terry and I really hate doing is taking the sticky tape off. Our I got too fat of fingers. Yeah, our, our nails don't always tend to work. Nails? Oh, you got nails? I don't have none of them no, either. I got a little of them, yeah. Not a lot, but I got a little. Okay. Now there's two ways to be able to do this. You can either pre-drill some holes in the and because this kit comes with um, with some screws and you can either use the screws and you can pre-drill the holes ahead of time uh, and then follow it with the screws or you can do what we're going to do which is to rivet them in uh, rivets seem to do a little bit better job um, and so that's what we're that's what we're working on doing here all right so now we've got our sticky tape off I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put a set up here on the car. Now what you want to do, we're going to be putting on the uh, mud flaps also uh, from Extreme Online. And so we want to make sure that we have room for a mud flap. And so we, you, and it actually lines up, it's designed to line up where you have this edge on, it's at the back where Terry's at to line up exactly with the wheel well. So we're going to, going to have Terry line it up over there. 
and we're going to go ahead and let him get it lined up where, where he thinks it should be. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to push towards the car here. And no, no, no. Bring it back. Okay. So it's already trying to stick. There we go. Let me get mine in here. Okay. Okay, now go. Got it? Yeah, now start doing what you want to do. Okay. And let's see. Almost there. All right. So now you want to hold some pressure on this. Keep some pressure on it. And maybe 30 seconds is good. Um, that'll get it to bond, okay? And then at that point, what we can do is we can go ahead and raise the car back up. Now, if you were on jack stands, it really wouldn't matter at that point, okay? And um, you can just go ahead and climb back right underneath here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift the car up. Hi, everybody. You guys all see Terry and I doing these installations on these videos as we show you how to go about doing it. And I'm always saying that if you guys don't want to do this yourself, don't want to tackle it yourself, to reach out and we'll give you a quote on how to do it. Well, a lot of you guys have done that. And in doing so, um, we are now very busy doing this and we've actually turned this into a business. So um, if you are needing anything done as far as, you know, like you've seen us do a front nose, you've seen us do wings, you've seen us do arrow kits, all that type of stuff, Reach out to us, we'll get you a quote. If you're in this area, man, we'll be happy to take care of you. Um, and we've also had some people contact us from uh, Florida, from Yosemite, from Los Angeles, and people are bringing their cars um, all the way as far as Las Vegas um, for us to do the, the work. So um, I haven't ever really advertised that. I always have just kind of in passing, I just say, oh, you know, if you want us to do it, reach out, we'll give you a quote. But we are fully going forward with that, and, and it's turning out to be a pretty pretty cool little deal. Um, most of the people know that by doing what we're doing, they know we know what we're doing because they've seen us actually do the work. And so I've actually offered people that have been far enough away, I've offered to say, hey, you know, be sure to tell your body shop, um, don't do this, do this, don't do that, whatever it may be, just to make sure that they don't do any damage to the car. And people are saying, no, we just want you guys to do it. So um, if you guys knew, are in need of any of this type of work being done, let me know. Reach out to me. I'm going to get that information right here on the screen, and we'll be happy to help you. So there's the, here's the middle one. I'm just going to drill it. And, and we'll take a rivet. it. And you just keep right on going down. These here. When you do this, if you're gonna get rivets and do like we're doing, make sure that you get rivets that are, have a big flange on them. Because these holes are about, I'd say almost three eighths holes. So you need a flange to put them on like so. I'm also going to add a couple of rivets just for my own self, for Scott, so he don't cry at me. <laughs> There's also one, sometimes you, depending on where you're jacking, guys, you may run into a hole that's like right over here, right next to this jack. You don't have to go into that exact hole. You could come out a little bit right here, and then you could, then you can get it. This is the one Scott was talking about. There's the holes there, but you can actually come out to here. And it's going to do the same thing. Come on. Okay, and then I'm going to go work on one. I'm going to put another one right here that's not here by them.
bit. Okay, and then we got one more up in the front right here. All right in the corner. Now we'll go back to the center and go to the back. This is another place that I want to put another rivet. So guys, plastic. this undercarriage is that he's sc uh, screwing into, it's just plastic. So you can add as many rivets as make you feel comfortable. Um, I definitely would advise using at least the ones of the holes that they supplied in the, in the uh, skirt, but uh, you can put on as many as you want. Up the cameraman. <laughs> okay, and there's another place I want to put one more just here, it's just for us. It actually probably might not mean a thing, but my mind it makes me feel good. No, no comment, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. All right, so now we'll move on to the other side. All right, so we're on the opposite side now, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it on just like we did the other side. We're gonna line up with the back side over there. Where are we at here? Okay, okay there we go. So the back side of the wheel well to that side there, right? We good, we're, Terry? We're good there. Okay, and then you're gonna lift up and on, just like that. And then again, you're gonna hold it. And if you can hold it for about 30 seconds, that's going to give the chance, give the uh, tape a good chance to bond really good. And it's going to hold it in place for us to be able to do the riveting underneath. Okay, let me go up with it. Okay. And now Terry's going to go ahead and we're going to lift the, lift the car back up in the air so we can get underneath here. I got to say, these side skirts don't really increase any of the, it doesn't lower the car much at all. It's, it's pretty much the same height as it was before as well as the front. I'm amazed that the front really is only maybe a quarter of an inch lower uh, than it was before. So you get out over here, we might, you might have lost maybe, uh, I don't know what, three eighths of an inch, maybe something like that. But it's, it's almost a straight out and it, and it uh, seems like it, uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble with clearance. All right, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. We're just gonna start in the middle. the trunk now and you can see this is the factory wing that's on it and we're going to be changing this to the 1LE style high wing. Okay so uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pop your trunk open and there's going to be you got two bolts here two bolts over on this side and now but we also have to take this cover loose okay so I uh, in the videos you typically see me using these nylon pry tools if you don't have a set 
run down to uh, Harbor Freight and pick them up there. They're very inexpensive. They're like seven or eight dollars for a kit, so it's not not very expensive. And all we need to do is we just need to take these little these little pin, push pins out here and cap uh, pull this little cap off. This is cosmetic trim. This just you can reach right underneath there, and you can just pop it free. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Okay, and then you can go ahead and you can get underneath these push pins with your tool. Okay, just take your time. Got those loose now we can go ahead and pull this off this just drops right down and you can get this up and out of the way set this inside the trunk so now what you've got if you look right up in here you can see that there's the two other screws right there and I believe these are 10 millimeters so and then also these little caps these are just rubber caps right here so you can just take those off set them down here in the trunk Okay, just like that. And now we're ready to go ahead and take those screws loose. Now, let me show you something. Uh, John's gonna get in with the camera and you can look in here. You can see that this is hollow in here, right? You can see all the way down in there. Now, if you lose that screw down inside here, it's gonna fall down in here. So you wanna be very careful that you don't lose these screws or these, these nuts as you're pulling them off or putting them back on. Otherwise, you'll be having to take the the trunk loose to fish these things out. So you want to be really careful. But other than that, it's literally just taking those six screws out and we'll be able to take the, the old wing off. When you start to take this existing wing on, make sure you have someone to help you because to hold both sides. Start in the middle. In the middle, there's the one nut is way up inside here. I don't know if you can see that. I've already taken it off because it took me a long time. I didn't have a ratchet wrench, so I had to use a wrench, and it took me a while. This one here, I can get a swivel in here and get it off. fingers now. Yeah, here we go. Now these over here, there's two on this side and there's two on this side. If you just start taking a nut off from here, you might drop them down in there and then you got a problem. So John suggested, very good idea, was to take this and hold it down like so. Okay, you put the ratchet on it. And just take the nut off. This way the nut just stays in your nut driver. This way and it stays in the nut driver. That's the good thing about the nut drivers. They just stay in there. Then we'll come over here and do the other two. Probably do. We're gonna probably catch heck getting it off the top. And uh, we got one more. Where you at? Where you at? There you go. All right. So now that Terry's got all the bolts loose. Um, we're gonna go, I should say nuts off the bottom there. We're gonna go ahead and close the trunk. This way we can get a little bit of leverage on the trunk. Now, these may or may not lift off for you real easy. Um, you may have to wiggle them a little bit and you may also have to use maybe some kite string or some heavy duty uh, fishing string to go ahead and kind of saw the glue that's underneath here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and I've been kind of wiggling it around with Terry so we should be able to get it to come up go um, but if it doesn't come up that easy for you you're gonna have to go ahead and just go ahead and, and uh, saw the 
the glue loose and then that way because you don't want to pry on this it's very thin metal and so if you pry on this with a pry tool it's going to end up denting it okay so now our next step is is that we go we need to go ahead and we need to clean off all of this two-sided stick tape that's here get this all cleaned up and then that way we can put the we can go ahead and put the wing on all right guys before we go and take the wing over to the car to install it what we want to do is we want to go ahead and i'm going to show you how all the parts go together because it's kind of a little small little bit of a rector set here so what you're going to have is you've got some uh, some of the uh, two-sided stick tape for the stanchions which are all right here you've got some two-sided stick, stick tape that holds the the uh, side winglets onto the wing and uh, if you've ever watched my ZR1 wing video you're going to see uh, that we don't um, we don't actually just use the sticky tape anymore. We're gonna actually going to cut a hole through this and make it a barrier so it will stick on, but we can still use some epoxy to epoxy it on because we don't want to lose these wings, or the winglets going down the road. So anyway, what you get here is you get uh, three of the, uh, the shorter sleeve here, and you get, um, you get one one long one and then two actually three long ones and the two shorter ones okay so what you're gonna do is basically we're gonna here I'm gonna take one apart and we're gonna take our little piece and we're gonna insert it into the bottom of the stanchion okay just like that you'll just hear it snap in place Then we're gonna take our longer sleeve and we're gonna insert it like so and then our shorter one is gonna go in like that okay then we're going to take our shorter, the one for the middle one, which has just got one hole. We're going to insert it into there like so. And we're going to go ahead and we'll put our sleeve and our bolt. There's our sleeve and there's the bolt right there. Okay. And then you can see here that there is a small uh, little uh, bolt here that that goes into this one slot right here. And this is for the center stanchion. Okay. So we've got that ready to go. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to might as well put these together now and get them ready. So we're just going to go ahead and put this in here like so again. Okay. And then the longer sleeve into here, the shorter sleeve into here. Okay. And then at that point, we can go ahead and we can attach them onto the wing. All right. So now at this point, we, these should be, they should be keyed to go where it's standing straight up and down, basically. Okay. So if you took this one and you put it over here, it's not gonna it's not gonna fit on there. You can see that. Okay. So put that one over here. All right. And then we can take this one and we can set it over here. Okay. And let's go and set this one down for the second. We'll work on this one. Now Terry's already got my tool here ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my longer. My longer tool. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just start it right here. Let's see if we can get it to start. There we go. So these should be very loose. So if it if it's not, you're cross threading it. Be sure you stop because you don't want to cross thread these. So just take your time. You'll get it lined up. If you have to, you can pull it back and you can see it. Okay. Just like that. And then go ahead and tighten these up. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the next side and we need to make sure that we pull the, the little sticky tape off that's right here, just like that. And then we're going to grab our other two bolts here again. I'm going to put the long one in here like so, get this one to start. Now 
as you can see, we're doing this on carpet and um, you know, here up on the, t the workbench. So you want to make sure that you put your wing on something that's soft, that's not going to scratch your, scratch the paint of the wing. Okay. Just like that. And now we can go ahead and we can put our two-sided stick tape here on there like that. Okay. We can go ahead and put our tape down and then we'll be ready to take it over to the car. So what we did is we went ahead and we got all the goop off after we removed the old wing. And we I went ahead and polished the the uh, the trunk lid off so get all the make it all nice and shiny it's all nice and clean so we can start from <laughs> starts from fresh so anyway uh, Terry's got the new wing here and he's gone ahead and he's pulled the two sided stick tape off here at the bottom and we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to set this little guy in in its place okay so they just go into the factory holes okay and just set it down and then we're just going to press it down like that and then go ahead and pop your trunk, okay, and then I'm going to hold this so it doesn't fall off, and then Terry's going to go ahead and start to put the bolts back in. Be very careful when you do this, you don't want to drop that bolt. Yeah. yeah or the know. nut, the nut, the bolt's already there. Yeah. I should probably lower this down for you. So you well, can, I'm just going to get yeah. two of them in so there that you go. we don't have to worry about that. There we go. Now guys, as I've been standing here and I've been looking at this, uh, you know, looking at this wing, um, I gotta say, um, this looks to me anyway. Uh, you're gonna want to still lower that down. No, I, it, to, they stay in here, so we're good. Okay. Um, to me, either way, when we close this trunk lid, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But you could go with the side winglets or not. I mean, it really looks cool both directions. So here in just a second, since, since Terry's done with that, uh, we'll close it and you can take a look at what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm amazed that it actually, and it's finished on the end, so if you chose that you didn't want to put the winglet on, you can. I'm just gonna use the wrench and tighten this up. It's going to take me a few minutes, so if you've got something to explain, go right ahead. <laughs> well, all right, let me grab the other winglet here, and I'm going to explain to you guys exactly. If you decide that you want to leave it like this, great. If you decide you want to put the winglet on, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to bring this right over, over here. So... The winglets come with the two-sided stick tape right here, okay? And normally it would be completely done. And I, what I did is I took it out and I cut a slot all the way out in the center. The reason I did that is that this way it will still hold the wing the winglet on, but I can also put some some uh, JB weld or an epoxy of some sort inside here, and this this tape will allow it to bond on, hold it in place, and it will also retain the goop where it doesn't start to ooze out. Now, I'm also gonna do two, one other thing too. I'm also going to, if I put these on, I will take the tape and I will run it around the edge, all the way around, so if it does, for some reason, ooze out, then it's gonna ooze out onto the tape and not onto the paint of the wing. Okay, so at that point, you would just basically be doing this. Let me set this one down. You would just be putting some goop in here, okay? And then you would be putting, let's see, right here like that. And you'd be putting it up on there like so. And then press and hold it. And then what I'll do is I will take some, uh, some uh, masking tape and I will mask this wingtip on and have it, have it uh, sit overnight, okay? So this way, when you get up in the morning or the next day, uh, this will be totally secure. So this is something that I didn't cover in my original ZR1 wing video. Um, when I did my, my ZR1 wing video, that was a prototype wing. No one had ever done one before. 
And so I did not know that these wing tips were secured with just with just the uh, the sticky tape. So after a while, I realized that my my wing was starting to wiggle just a little bit, and I realized that the tape was starting to give away. So since then, that's what I do is I go ahead and I epoxy it on. Okay. So anyway, I, I gotta say now that Terry's walked away for a second, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and show you the trunk. Okay. Take a look at that. This really has a really nice smooth surface. It follows a nice contour line. So, I mean, you really don't need the winglet. I mean, unless you unless you just really, really like it. But, I mean, see, you can take a look at the difference here. Let's get this on there. So, you can see what I'm talking about. It looks great either way. So, it's your choice, you know. Um, now, what I would say is, is that if you're sticky taping this on and you lose one, Okay, not a big deal. It's still gonna look like this. Now, if you go ahead and you epoxy this on and then you change your mind, you're gonna have epoxy all over here and you're gonna to have to refinish the end of this wing. So it's definitely make your pick on what you're gonna do. But like I said, either way, it looks great. There, there is a purpose to them. Hmm? In racing, it's what these do. These are actually to direct the air over the wing. Right. This way it doesn't direct anything. Actually, without them, the wing doesn't really do anything. Right. But most right. cars this on the street the doesn't matter. Right. This year you can just go for a look. Right. I'm glad you mentioned that because yeah, there's a few of you guys are gonna turn around and say, What are you talking about, Scott? You know. But yeah, so if you guys are using it for the track, Terry's absolutely right. If you're looking going for the look of it, I'm not gonna take this car up to the track and race it. That is probably not what I my intention is ever gonna be. But those of you that do, then this would probably be the better way of going. Okay, so, but anyway, you guys have that choice. So, but that's, that's it in a nutshell right there, guys. Um, we'll go ahead, I think we are going to go ahead and put the wings on, but, um, you know, either way, I think it looks really, really great and um, much, much better than the original factory's uh, little small spoiler. And um, it's really not obtrusive. You're still going to be able to see right out, out your rear view mirror here. So, um, I don't know. I think it looks awesome. So anyway, uh, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put the wings on. We'll show you how we do that, and then um, and then we're done. This is something else that I don't normally cover. I always talk about using JB Weld or epoxy or something like that. But I'm going to sh show you what I'm talking about. These are the two pieces. The bottom piece here is the. This is you can get a couple different types. This is a one minute bond epoxy. They also make a. A black, this is, that dries and clear. Then they make a black one that dries in about 15 minutes. And so this is the epoxy part of it, the two-piece. And then this is the mixer itself. So I'm gonna just set these down here so you can see what I'm talking about. Normally, you would buy just this little guy and then you would mix it up with a stir stick and then you would have to put, kind of paint it on. This is an ingenious little kit that goes right on top of these. You can buy these separate. These go in like that and you cut it to the length or the width that you want it to be able to disperse. And if you can see there, hopefully in the camera, you can see all the little veins in there. And it's actually, when I press this, it's actually going to mix it, okay? So um, so you can see right here, I'm gonna start, see how it starts to twirl there? So it's mixing it up as it's coming out. So once it comes out, it will be active. Now, what we're doing here is we've already pulled the two-sided stick tape off of the edges. So originally this stick, stick tape was all the way across and that's all that was gonna be holding this, this winglet on. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm literally just going to go ahead and I'm gonna push this in here like so. And it doesn't take a lot, but I'm just gonna keep it right here and here like this. And this, this part here, the, the tape is actually going to hold it in place. Okay, just like that. Okay. I'll treat you. All right, so now at that point, you can see here that it's pretty much in there. Now what we also did, just to make darn sure we don't have a problem when this goes tries to come out, is we taped the edge of the wing completely, right on the edge here, okay? So what that does is that allows for this to go ahead and it'll go on, but it's not going to, it's not gonna ooze out. And if it does ooze out, it's gonna ooze out on the tape. So I'm pressing and holding this. 
Now, like I said, this is a one minute bond goop, okay, or the JB Weld. Now, if you get the, you know, you can get the, the cheaper version, which sets in an hour or whatever, um, and that's okay, that's not a problem. It's a lot less money for those. Those are only like four or five dollars for a tube of that, where this one minute bond is about 15, 16 dollars, somewhere in that ballpark, okay? So now what I'm doing here, um, is I'm literally just having Terry go ahead and tape this in place. So this is your best way to do this, is that you just tape it down and tape it onto the wing itself, just like that, okay? To hold it there in place. And then just leave that there overnight. That's all there is to that. It's, it's not going anywhere, it doesn't need any extra pressure or anything like that. And when it's done, and you pull this off, you know, here in the, you know, well, this one here we'll be able to pull off in a few hours uh, because it sets in a minute. But uh, otherwise, you'll be able to do this in about I don't know, 12 hours somewhere in that ballpark, depending on what you what epoxy you buy. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump over to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and mask it all off, um, and that's that's literally all there is to this, guys. There's not it's not. Not rocket science, just being a little bit careful. If you think you don't need to do this, um, you don't have to. You just take the chance that you might have a little bit of clear oozing out onto the wing and then you, you'll get to you know deal with it however you want. But um, I myself uh, and all of my customers, they don't want, uh, they don't want goop all over their wing, so. So anyway, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the other side on here. That. Let that dry for about 12 hours or so, and you're solid. So that's about it. Guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, be sure and hit that like, bet that like button as well as that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And guys, we are getting really, really close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have friends that are watching Corvettes or Camaros and you watch the channel, please have them subscribe also. I'd really appreciate it. Um, like I said, we're getting really, really close and I just want to see if we can get to 10,000 subscribers. So uh, again, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put all of that information on the screen if I haven't already about where you can get your conversion kit for your SS. Um, you can go to Extreme Online Store and they will be happy to take care of you. They'll get you all the, all the stuff you need and uh, you'll be able to do this for yourself. So guys, again, thank you for watching. You guys have a great night.